Janome. Hey everyone, it's Janome Mann, aka Michael Smith, and I'm back in my classroom at the Janome Sewing and Learning Center to share with you just some of the goodies that come with your Janome Continental M17. Can you believe it? What you see on the table is just some of the goodies that come included. Now, very important when you unpack everything, make sure you find the sheet that says standard accessories. Here is a drawing of everything included in your machine, along with the description and even the parts numbers. So that is great. So you make sure that you have everything included. You don't want to throw away any of the packaging until you know you've got everything included with your machine. And again, it's going to tell you exactly what everything is. When I unboxed my machine, I thought, oh, it's just like Christmas. There is so much included. Now, one of the first things that I loved finding was this beautiful Janome accessory box. Now, this is similar to the black vinyl case that comes included with the Memory Craft 15,000 quilt maker and is available separately. But this one is actually a, more of a fabric. It's not actually vinyl. And when I open it up, will reveal how much storage is included. Now, we do have some hook and loop tape here, so there's an extra little secret pocket that you could stash a few goodies, lots of uh, foam protection in here as well. There's even a little pocket here in the front as well, so more storage. But yes, these removable trays, there's three trays in total. So these removable trays are the secret to staying organized. And the more organized you are, the faster, easier, more enjoyable your sewing is. And then of course, great, keep everything together, you know, dust free. And then if you go off to a class or a retreat, you've got everything at your fingertips. So in this tray, again, we've got all of the uh, lettered slots there for our Janome presser feet. Now, this is the tray that I was most excited about, this second uh, tier. Now, you can arrange them however you wish, but in this second tier, <gasps> I loved it because, again, some of those extra add-on presser feet that were released after, like the Memory Craft 15,000 Quilt Maker, for example, we had a release of an update for some extra feet. Those are included, and those fit in those extra slots. So in the bottom here of my accessory tray, I have this large tray. So again, this is where we can put things like, oh yes, our automatic buttonhole foot R, for example. Now, all of these presser feet, or pretty much all of these presser feet that come included with your Janome Continental M17, I demonstrated in the various uh, Janome HQ Instagram Live series, which I've now lo uh, loaded onto the Janome HQ YouTube channel. So the A to Z with Janome series, for example, you can go to that playlist on the Janome HQ YouTube channel, and you'll see that I have a lot of these lettered presser feet demonstrated. I also demoed some in the Janome's Awesome Accessory Countdown, so you can go back to review those. So this R, automatic buttonhole foot, will fit in perfectly. Perfectly. And then again, for a lot of our Janome machines, oh, of course, we've got like our little screwdriver. We'll put those there. The little maintenance tools we need to keep our machine clean, the little brush for your bobbin area, the little seam ripper, uh, even the little pair of snips, you know, they can go here. Now, also included is this vial of cleaner. It does not say oil, it says cleaner. <laughs> and actually, I did a blog, I wrote a blog on the Janome Life blog entitled, Don't Forget Your Bobbin Area. And I show using this cleaner, it's paraffin distillate. <laughs> and it is actually available separately from your Janome dealer as well, but comes included with your Continental M17. And in that Janome Life blog, I have a video that's on the Janome HQ YouTube channel on how to clean your bobbin holder with this cleaner and then how to, you know, brush it all out and maintain it all. So this is a vial of cleaner for your bobbin holder and to clean your bobbin area so it's all lint-free. So that's great. And then things like, oh yes, the thread nets come included. So if we're using some of those uh, finicky threads, like uh, metallic threads, uh, very fine threads that we can use these thread nets to keep everything feeding correctly. Uh, we do have two spool adapters, so big cone adapters. So we could use big cones of thread, not just little spools, as we have the vertical uh, spool pins built into the Continental M17. So these cone adapters help us use 
those bigger cones of thread. So put those there. Again, we've got two big spool caps. It's very important to use the correct spool caps for your machine, two medium sized ones, and then two of these little special spool caps for, again, those little spools of thread. So those will fit in here beautifully. Now also, what could fit, oh, I think that's about it for our bottom row. So I will put that, oh no, one thing I don't want to forget about is this button shank plate. This is what we will use to create a shank when we sew a button on by machine, but I also like using this to keep the presser foot level when we're sewing those thicker layers. Uh, again, I wrote a blog on Janome Life blog about uh, heavy duty sewing tips, and this I definitely use to again keep that presser foot level. You will not break the needles and you won't get those skip stitches and all that thread nesting using this to keep your presser foot level. So this I can either put in my bottom tray or maybe I'll just tuck it in the little pocket in the front there. So this middle tray, oh I absolutely loved it. We have three needle plates included with the Janome Continental M17. The regular standard zigzag needle plate will be on the machine. We've got the straight stitch needle plate with that center hole. There's also a little hole to the right and a little hole to the left. That just clips in beautifully. But we also have, oh yes, the HP needle plate, that high performance needle plate that orients our needle to the left. This fits in beautifully. So isn't that great? But then look at all these little parts and pieces there for all everything included. So things like our quilting guide bar, you know, Janome's had this for years and you know, what's not broke, let's not fix. This works beautifully and boom, it just goes right there. Now these big slots over here, there are optic magnifiers. Ooh, with a 20, 40, and 60 degree magnification. So when we want to get that up close detailed stitching, when we're doing applique, or if we have to thread the needle by hand, using a really fine thread or a thicker thread in the needle, we must thread those by hand. These optic magnifiers can help us. So there is a 20 degree attached to the holder that fits in right there. And then there is again a 40 degree lens and a 60 degree lens. Boom, so that's perfect. Now these are the slots I'm most excited about because included with your Janome Continental M17 is this fabulous HP2, and you can see on the side there, HP2, that perfect scant quarter of an inch with the power of AccuFeed, that HP2 foot has a home. In many of our other machines, that HP2 foot is an optional accessory. And then you wonder, well, where should I keep that? Well, here in your Janome Continental M17 accessory tray, you have a home for it. Now also, we have a home for the regular HP foot, the metal foot that uh, you'll see the foot and the ankle, the foot holder are integrated. So perfect at that high speed sewing, very accurate results. You know, the Janome Continental M17 stitches 1300 stitches per minute. So how we can get such accurate seaming is again, by having that foot and foot holder integrated for that perfect scant quarter. So that has a home. Now here is for one one of the PDH free motion foot or darning foot. Now there is a closed toe version. This is the open toe version of the PDH foot. And again, I demonstrated this and all these other presser feet on the Janome HQ YouTube channel in the A to Z with Janome series. So PDH foot, boom, goes right there. How about the QR ruler foot? Yes, there is a home, a built-in home to this tray for the QR ruler foot. Now, those of us that had the version one or version two of the Memorycraft 15,000, and we upgraded our machine to be the 15,000 quilt maker. Again, we bought a, a separate kit that included all of these presser feet, but we didn't really have a home for them in our accessory tray. So now this is why I'm excited. We have a home for these feet in our accessory tray. So here is the O foot, is the quarter of an inch foot. Uh, Janome has several quarter of an inch feet. This one has no guide on the side, so I'm going to put that one there. 
And then our QZ or QZ foot is our variable zigzag foot. And that will go here. So boom, everything we need at our fingertips to stay organized. Again, the more organized you are, the faster and easier and more enjoy enjoyable your sewing will be. So in this top tray, oh, I love this. This is for your extra bobbins. And again, as you can see, I can remove this, take it to the side of my sewing machine, and then load it up. We have extra bobbins here that come with our machine. These are, of course, our Janome J bobbins. Oh, this may be a little hard to see, the little J on the center post. The Janome J bobbins mean they have a little uh, rubberized compound in them, so they stay a little quieter, there's less vibration, less birds nesting of the thread, so that's why that J is on the post, so you know you've got an authentic Janome J bobbin. Now, uh, little slots down here, oh, we've got a package of needle with our red tip, blue tip, and purple tip needles, even a twin needle. So we've got room for theirs for our needles and even an extra pack of needles. So that's great. So up to the top here, ooh, our big dual AccuFeed Flex foot is like a walking foot on steroids. Now attached to the foot holder is the AD foot, but there is a slot here for that AD foot. So the joys of AccuFeed Flex is you can remove the actual foot from the foot holder and you have a variety of feet that you could attach. Things like Oh, we've got the UD, which is the open toe AccuFeed Flex Foot. That will go there. And again, this spot is for your AD foot that's already attached here. And then down next to it is the OD foot, which is the quarter of an inch AccuFeed Flex Foot. I love using this foot when I'm stitching on binding. I've got that accuracy of that guide. So that's great. The next uh, slot here is the SD foot, which is the stitch in the ditch AccuFeed Flex Foot. And you'll see that black guide is now in the middle so we can do ditch quilting through all of our layers. So this guy goes upside down here in the slot. Now the only slot that won't be filled here is this STD. That is the optional straight stitch AccuFeed Flex Foot. Now that foot is available as an optional accessory from your Janome dealer. And then up here, oh, we've got the narrow AccuFeed Flex Foot Holder. This has got the VD foot attached, but we've got a slot here for the DV, D, VD foot. And then here is the zipper foot attachment, the ED that goes onto that narrow foot holder. This I love using when I'm uh, installing a zipper on knit fabrics. And in fact, I wrote a blog on Janome Life blog about using this foot to install a zipper and no puckering whatsoever, no stretch of that knit at all because you've got the power of the AccuFeed feeding system. Uh, the next foot down is our QC. And these are our little free motion clear uh, quilting feet. So the QC foot, that's the closed toe. The QO is the open toe. So that will go there. And then we've got the QV is our big clear view, like zigzag foot. I call this the dinner plate. And that will fit right in here. So the, all of our free motion feet are there. Then in the next slot, this little spot up here is actually for your foot holder. So if you've got your embroidery foot installed, uh, the P foot, you can actually put your foot holder there. Uh, the next slot down is the A slot, and that is for your regular zigzag foot that will be on the machine itself. Uh, the next slot down is the D foot. That is the rolled hem foot. And again, I demonstrated this on the D episode of the A to Z with Janome series on Janome HQ YouTube. Uh, next spot down is the E foot, zipper foot. And again, the great thing about Janome, no matter what machine you have, the E foot is always a zipper foot. Just like the F foot is always the satin stitch foot, a clear foot, and it's got the groove in the back for those uh, zigzag stitches, those decorative stitches to form. But we also have a slot for the F2 is the open toe satin stitch foot. So again, Janome is always about choices. So whatever uh, foot you want to stitch your decorative stitches with, you've got options. Uh, the next 
Opening in the tray is the G foot, one of my favorites. This is the blind hem foot, but I also use this foot when I'm edge stitching by moving my needle over to the other side of that center guide. Uh, again, I've written many blogs on Janome Life about it. It works so well, and I've demonstrated that in various uh, Janome HQ uh, presentations on the presser feet. The next slot is the M foot is the overcast or over edge foot. Now, instead of having to haul out your serger all the time, if you need to finish off the edge of a seam, you can use your M foot and the built-in overcast or over edge stitches to your machine. Uh, again, I wrote a Janome Life blog <laughs> about using that foot. So you'll find lots of information about how to use all of these presser feet. And of course, lots of information in your manual. Uh, oh, let's see, we'll finish that row by using the O foot. This is our other quarter of an inch foot, but this one has a guide onto the side. So again, it's all about choices. It's whatever you choose. Uh, up here at the top, we've got the T foot is the button sewing foot and it's got a little bit of that uh, a little rubber guard on it so that'll grip the button while you're doing your little zigzag in place to hold it in position. Again use that button shank plate to make the shank underneath. Uh, next slot is our Z or our Z invisible zipper foot. This works like magic. You can elevate your sewing instantly by putting in an invisible zipper, even into uh, cushions. It doesn't have to be garments. Now, I demonstrated this in the A to Z with Janome series. Uh, this is the Z episode for that invisible zipper. So go back and review that. Uh, the next position is the P foot, the ooh, embroidery foot. So that will go there. Then the PDH foot. Now again, we have two included with the Continental M17. The open toe I already put away in tray number two, and this is the closed toe version of the PDH foot. We'll just drop in there. Now the next row up here, again, Janome is always about more. So there are additional presser feet available from your Janome dealer, like the AP foot is the applique foot. And again, I demoed on the A to Z with Janome series. The H foot is the uh, three-way cording foot. The I foot is the piping foot. Oh, then we skip down to like the U foot is the ultra glide foot to use for your um, oh uh, sticky fabrics, you know, vinyl and, and leather, uh, so the U foot will fit there. This big slot here is the FB, the border guide foot will fit there. So you've got more options for more storage, more sewing fun. So here I put that into position and then boom, I can uh, quickly zip up my case and then boom, away I go. Now you'll see, oh wait, we still have some other additional accessories that come included with our machine. Well, of course, Janome is all about more. Well, you know, you know, we can use the stop start button, but we also have the big extra large foot pedal, including with that remote thread cutter. So we don't even have to take our hands off our project. We can just simply move our foot over, press that to cut our threads. It works so well. So we have this included with the machine. And you know, the cool thing is this bracket that you mount your extra large foot pedal and your little remote cutter, you can flip this around. So if you want your remote thread uh, cutter on the left hand side, you can just flip the bracket around. So it works either way. So that's included. Now, of course, our knee lifter. Yes, a lot of people love using the knee lifter to raise and lower your presser foot. We do have auto lift built into the machine, but we also use this knee lifter for the variable zigzag that will use that QZ foot. So that comes included. Again, we've always got more. Uh, the little stylist I thought was so cute with our huge LCD screen. Yes, we can touch the screen, or we can make our selections using the, the padded end here of the stylus. We don't want to use that sharp metal edge. We just want to use the padded edge. So this stylus clips into the side of the machine. So that's great. This, oh, I couldn't believe 
This is your cloth guide. Now, I absolutely love the cloth guide. There are so many different cloth guides available to many Janome machines. It all depends on which machine you have. And this one, oh, as usual, I'm so impressed. This actually clips into the bobbin area. So this is kind of like our circular attachment or our quilt binder set where you remove your bobbin cover and this is going to clip down into the bobbin area. Then you've got this wonderfully huge adjustable guide which then you can lock in place there are numbers again if you're metric or inches here so if we're doing our quarter of an inch piecing for example we move the cloth guide to a quarter of an inch clip it into place boom now we can do that high speed 1300 stitches per minute for our piecing and we've got accuracy because of this cloth guide. If we're sewing a commercial pattern is typically five eighths of an inch, boom, lock it into place. There is our seaming. It's so fabulous, so versatile. So this giant cloth guide also comes included in your machine. These I thought are so adorable and I'm going to demonstrate these uh, larger items and things like, again, these stitch charts, they're magnetic stitch charts. I will demonstrate how you use these with your fabulous new Continental M17. And we've got our usual, you know, uh, utility stitches, quilting stitches, uh, satin stitches, but then we've got uh, some new stitches included in the animals category for example and the lifestyle so some of these stitches are familiar but we also have some brand new uh, we've got a new category called seasons and again some of the stitches may be uh, familiar in other machines but a lot of these are brand new so that's fabulous all these magnetic stitch charts and then ooh, things like yes this peculiar apparatus goes onto it clips onto your thread mast and you're going to actually uh, loop some yarn over this and what you're going to be using this to help feed that yarn down is with this very cool setup is your embroidery couching so here I have two additional embroidery feet this is PC1 and PC2 and they each have a little opening where you will feed various thicknesses of yarn and you will do embroidery couching in your embroidery hoop and there's a little yarn guide that will clip over the needle clamp screw so the yarn feeds right down through the hole in that foot right under your needle so you will embroider and couch yarn down now typically couching yarn means we're going to be zigzagging but no with our embroidery hoop we're actually just going to be using a straight stitch so that comes included uh, speaking of embroidery yes what comes included is our special high tension bobbin holder now this one you may be able to read says 20 grams in there and that means that it is set at a higher tension so it's going to pull down those needle threads to the back side we're not going to see any bobbin thread come up to the top now our traditional uh, high tension embroidery bobbin holders were always a yellow dot but this one is actually white because this bobbin holder is specific for the Janome Continental M17 we don't want to mix it up with any other embroidery machine so that's why it has a little white dot as opposed to the yellow dot and if I quickly open my embroidery case here my little accessory case oh yes one thing I neglected to put away earlier there's even a spot right there next to your optic magnifiers yes there's a spot there for your embroidery bobbin holder so everything you need is at your fingertips now these oh talk about embroidery and new developments that J the Janome Continental M17 has come out with we have a laser light for our precise embroidery placement this is something our customers have been asking for for years and Janome always waits until they can perfect it before they release it so here is a laser light this is the PM embroidery foot that will attach to your machine for that precise embroidery placement so brand new development for Janome 
Also brand new for Janome, yes, we've listened to the feedback. We would love a stitch regulator for free motion quilting and ruler quilting. And here it is. It plugs into the machine. This is a lot like our AccuFeed Flex Holder in that this ASR is Accurate Stitch Regulator. This is the regulator itself, is right there. But then we've got a variety of extra feet that can attach to it. So this is the regular free motion accurate stitch regulator foot and they just boom clip on there's a little button at the back here to release them so this is the regular foot but oh maybe you want to use the open toe foot to do your stitch regulated there we go stitch regulated free motion quilting or how about we have the big clear view foot again that big dinner plate so again we just clip and then release here at the back so so simple or how about ruler quilting yes with that thicker higher profile foot there's a little divot in the front so we can really see what we're doing when we're using our rulers safely now with the advantage of stitch regulation it is absolutely an am amazing and again Janome always waits until they can perfect it that they know it's going to work beautifully so boom there you are debuting with the Janome Continental M17 so you may wonder where in the world am I going to store those they aren't going to fit in my little black case well these are an ingenious invention that Janome has come up with. These will go along the side of your embroidery carriage, which I will demo in another video. But these come off, the top comes off very easily. And then, oh look, we've got some storage compartments here. So I can store things like, oh yes, maybe the uh, PM Precise Embroidery laser I can store there or in this big one I can have our accurate stitch regulator and all of our extra feet they can go there and then again these lids just basically snap whoops, snap right on top in place and these go around the embroidery carriage around the bed of your machine to give you more surface space but they're also additional storage so again Janome is always trying to think of things always trying to come up with new things to give you more options for your sewing so look forward to more videos when I finally put all of these fabulous parts and pieces together happy sewing mm -hmm.